So again, look at now how they are trying to these both of these people. Surah Baqarah 2 and 111. وَقَالُوا لَنْ يَدْخُلَ الْجَنَّةَ إِلَّا مَنْ كَانَ هُودًا أَوْ نَصَارًا تِلْكَ مَانِيُّهُمْ قُلْ هَاتُوا بُرْحَانَكُمْ إِن كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ And they said that you will never enter garden except you become hadu, lenient or label Jews or Nasara helpers, label Christians those are their wishes, say bring your proof if you are truthful Now can you see the Arabic word hud here? Anybody in the hall? Can you see? Okay. Go to page number 11, 12. Hood 11, Surah Hood 11 and Ayah 58. Come on. Everybody see this. Everybody see, open to see. What does it written? In Arabic. With Alif, Hoodan, written there. And the, and the translator is written that there is what? Who is this person? Huh? The messenger, Hud. And here is also Hud. In this Surah Baqarah 211. The same Hudan. Is there any difference? So they are not giving their Surah Hud the messenger meaning. They are not giving the meaning of Hud. I gave you the, because they don't, because I told you what they are not doing, they are distorting the book. They are distorting the word. They did not give the mood, they said Surah Hud. What Surah Hud? Give the meaning. What does Hud means? Because in Quran there, there is a meaning to a word. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a meaning to a word. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam means most praiseworthy. The praise, this praiseworthy. Ahmad means the most praiseworthy and Muhammad is the one who is to be praised. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, the meaning of the word. Similarly, Hud is mentioned as the Hud Surah. And here is Hud also written exactly the same. It means something. It means lenient message. He was a lenient messenger. So here it says, وَقَالُوا لَنْ يَتْخُلَ الْجَنَّةَ إِلَّا مَنْ كَانَ هُودًا And they say that you can never enter a garden except you become Hudan. Hudan means lenient and Nasara means helper. Now my question is who can say can a Jew living in Jerusalem say that can a Christian living in in that civil world who is reading a Bible, right, reading a Bible can say this that he can never enter a garden this and I repeat and they say that you will never enter garden Jannah except you become Hadu lenient the Jews or Nasara the helpers the Christians now my question think those guys know garden is the Bible in the Bible it is written what is the Jannah garden believe me Jannah is only defined the Quran the Jannah of Allah Garden of Allah is defined in the Quranic ayahs. So can a Christian label Christian or a label Jew can say this? Who would say that? Who is changing the meaning of the word? You are not getting brother. All of you, you are not getting it. No? Who, who, who are those who will say, who can say, who can say this? That you will never enter garden except you become hood, become lenient, nice, lenient, ravadar, and nasara helper, help me, I'll help you, you help me. Helper, who is this person? Who knows this book? They forgot the message. They are changing the words. They are twisting the words. So they know the garden. So they can only say this. Tilka Allah said, this is their very desire. Kul hatu in kuntum sadikin. Say, produce your evidence if you are speaking the truth. It is not the Jews of this world can say the label Jews of living in Jerusalem. They cannot say because they don't have the concept of garden. The Jannah. Jannah of the Quranic ayats. So now further they say. Now these two people are again, we are identified Nasara and Yahud. Remember this, you must be honest to yourself. This ayat is referring to where? where? Now read Tawbah 9.30. وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُدُ زَيْرُ نِبْنُ اللَّهِ وَقَالَتِ النَّسَارَ الْمَسِيحُ بْنُ اللَّهِ ذَلِكَ قَوْنُهُمْ بِيَفَاهِهِمْ يُضَاهِهُنَ قَوْلَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِنْ قَبْلِ قَاتَلَهُمُ اللَّهُ أَنَّا يُؤْفَقُونَ and Nasara, the helper Christians, 
said al masih the christ is son of allah that is their saying with their mouth they correspond correspond to be in the conformity with the sayings of the old of those who rejected from before allah destroyed them how they belied now the nasara the helpers and the and the lenient those who are lenient here the behavior if you look it's not coming within us is it coming within us who are saying uzair is the son of allah or who are saying al masih is the son of allah this is going there look don't forget the behavior the the person who are lenient will remain lenient the nasara will remain uh, the helper but the before i was reading was coming here now they is going there because nobody in our society say the christ is the son of a god the helper so this helper will go there you understand what i'm saying the basic nature of human being is a helper this type of behavior is not limited to one human being it's the human being as all mankind so among this all mankind this personality behavior in this aya is going towards them you understand what i'm saying because no one in our company community say that we are the uh, christ is the son of god those helpers say that so they are also helpers we are not denying they are not helpers they are helpers of course we are also helpers we are both sides we are going so here it goes there and same with the uzair is the son of allah so allah said this is are they saying with their mouth mouths they correspond to be in conformity with the sayings of those of before it is being just said from again from history people are saying christ is son of god and this guy is son of god and this guy is son of god it's just no, no verification no proof so now if you read further surah tauba 9 and it says ittakhadu ahbarahum wa rubanahum arbaban min dunillah wal masih ibn maryam wa ma umiru illa liya'budu ilahan wahida la ilaha illa hu subhanahu amma yushikun they took their scholars and their terrorists and christ the son of mary as lords other than allah they were not ordered except to serve one god there is no god except him glorify him about what they associate with him in this aya again their scholars their people who are saying this nasara the or helper they say their scholars and their terrorists and the christ the son of mary is lord so we are not saying that among us people are not among our helpers are not saying it these are the helpers to their side so they were ordered except to serve this is what they forgot is again allah said they were ordered except to serve one god but they are serving these scholars the terrorists and christ as lord so allah said there is no god except and glorify him about what they associate so now we have come to know this is their behavior now we have to distinguish the behavior of the helpers and the and this so now in al-maida 5 and 18 page number 27 28 wa qalat al-yahud wa an-nasara nahnu abna'u Allah wa ahibba'u qul fa lima yu'adhibukum bi dhunubikum qul bal antum basharun mimman khalaq yaghfiru liman yasha'u wa yu'adhibu man yasha'u wa lillahi mulku as-samawati wal ard wa ma baynahuma wa ilayhi al-masir and the yahud who were lenient jews and nasara helper christian said we are the sons of allah and his beloved say so why then he gives you punishment for your sins but you are humans whom he created he forgives whom he wills and he punishes whom he wills and for allah is the kingdom of the skies and the earth and what is in between them and towards him is the place of return again in this ayat you will note that the yahud and the nasara who are these people who are lenient and helpers say we are the sons of god and we are his beloved who are saying this those people they that helpers are saying that believe me every nasara label christian say that we are the sons of god we they say father our father art in heaven they say we are the sons of his father everybody every christian say that and the bible is full of it you know if you just read i will read further it says in 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 exodus 4 22 israel allah says god says astaghfirullah israel is my son in jeremiah 31 9 ephraim is my first born astaghfirullah allah is saying all this psalms david this day i begotten you 
Genesis sons of God Psalms 2 7 David this day I begotten you Genesis 6 2 sons of God and Luke uh, 3 verse 38 the son of Enos son of which was the son of Seth which was son of Adam which was the son of God Mel Melchizedek who, uh, Hebrews 7 1 2 3 who is without father mother descent make like unto the son of God Romans 8 14 as many are led by the spirit of God they are the sons of God who are saying all this those people those helpers those helpers they are believing in the these all written biblical verses so they are saying that the Nasara are saying the helpers are saying and the, even the Old Testament both of them are saying that we are the sons of God metaphorically or whatever but they say that because it's in the Bible so it is they are not coming in this category you see you must understand Nasara means helper and and the Hadu means the who are lenient it's a human behavior in the beginning I was telling you you have to identify which ayat is referring to where now these I am I'm reading you can identify they are referring that side it's not on this side but the basic nature is helper you cannot change lenient is basic nature of human being like believer is a human being whether he believes the ayat or whether he believes the bible or believes the Bhagavad Gita believer means believer so you have to understand this Nasara here these eyes is referring there among human beings helpers referring to these people now they say al Baqarah 2 and Ayah 140 or they say surely Ibrahim, Ismail and Ishaq and Yaqub and the tribes were Hud, leaning Jews or Nasara helpers, Christians. Do you know better than Allah and who is more unjust than the one who concealed the evidence he has from Allah and Allah is not unaware about what you do. So now, who are these people who are saying Ibrahim, Ismail, Ishaq and Yaqub and the tribes were Hud and Nasara? Who are saying these people? Sorry? Huh? Label? No, the, 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 they, they would say that we are the Jewish prophets. All the Bible, look, you see to me, this you must understand. These people in the Bible, from Abraham to Mo Jesus, they are all Jewish prophets. Huh? They say that. So we are both people. This ayat is talking about both. Among us, people are saying they are all Jewish prophets. These Arabs, Muhammad from Ismail, they say, so they divided Abraham had two sons according to Bible according to Bible according to Quran they are two sons okay fine but in the Quran there is one wife Ibrahim al Islam has one wife in the Quran the Bible has got three wives you see these people you are plaguing you, you don't understand what you are reading if you want to follow the Quran Ibrahim al Islam has got one wife and from this one wife Ismail is al Islam but the Bible said no, Ismail as -salam was born from a born woman, Hagar, they said Hagar and Sarah, her first uh, cousin or sister of Abraham, Astaghfirullah and from Isaac was born, this is all in Bible and there was one more, one more wife, I don't know what, what's her name but there is another son so there are many sons, other sons also but two is more, more important, Isaac and Ismail from the born woman of Ismail and from that no prophets came from Ismail except Muhammad peace be upon him according to so called label Muslims but these guys are saying from Isaac all the prophets came till Jesus so they are all Jewish prophets so the Nasara so label helpers and label Jews and among us also people are both Nasara and helpers among us and who are lenient among us are believing this both people. So what is the difference between you Jews and what is the difference between us? We are saying the same thing. Nonsense. So Allah is telling us, Qul antum alamu amillah. Do you say better than, do you know better than Allah? And who is more unjust than one who concealed the evidence he has from Allah and Allah is not unaware.
aware about what you do. Both these parties together, the learned of the Hadu, they are the same people, their psyche is the same. The lenient people, the Nasara, the helper people, helping each other, being lenient to each other, Ravada, to each other. So they all say, from our genealogy is there, is who? From, from Isaac, all genealogy, from Ismail, you got Muhammad, peace be upon the Arab, Arab, you know, prophet. This is all you playing games. Allah is not saying all this. And Surah Al Imran 3 and Ayah 67. Ma kana Ibrahimu, Yahudiyam wala Nasraniyam, wala kin kana Hadifam Muslima, wa ma kana min al Mushikin. Ibrahim was not a Yahudi who is a lenient or a labeled Jew, not a Nasrani or a helper or a Christian, but he was a true Muslim. And he was not from those who associate. So Allah is denying, believe me, Allah is denying that your Nasara or your Yahudi being lenient. Because lenient was a Hud messenger was there, Quran, we don't deny this. But the way they became lenient to each other, and the way they became Nasara, help us, Allah says Ibrahim Islam was not like that. He is the Muslim submitter. And the companions of Jesus was Muslims. The messenger Isa Islam was Muslims. All the messengers were Muslims. So these are the label, two labels, the, the Yahudi and Nasara we are discussing. They are distorting the book and these are like this. So Surah Al-Baqarah 2 further says, وَقَالُوا كُونُوا هُودًا أَوْ نَصَارًا تَحْدَدُوا قُلْ بَلْ مِلَّةَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ حَنِيفًا وَمَا كَانَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ And they say, become Hud, lenient Jews, label Jews, Nasara, helpers or Christian. You would be guided. Say, but the Millat religion of true Ibrahim, he was not from the associate. So these Hud and Nasara says, if you become Hud, Hud, lenient, Nasara, helper, Christian, both people, here and there, because he's not known, both are trying to convey. Then you will be guided. Tahtadu. So Allah says, Qul bal millata Ibrahim Hanifa. Say no. Say, but the millat religion of true Ibrahim, he was not from the associate, meaning Allah is enforcing the religion of Ibrahim, peace be upon him. What religion we Muslims are practicing? Huh? Religion of Ibrahim. The judgment in the in the Dina in the Lail Islam, the judgment in the nearness of Allah is Islam. Islam is not a religion, it's a judgment from Allah. In the Dina, Maliki Yawmiddin is the owner, the Malik of the day of judgment. Yawmiddin, Deen. In the Dina in the Lail Islam. Surely the judgment in the nearness of Allah is Islam, peace. And here it says. Milla, Milla means religion. Deen does not mean religion. Deen is a judgment. So let's say, Wakalu kunu hudan nam nasara tahtadu. They say, become hud, lenient, nasara helper, tahtadu. Then you will be guided. So let's say, Kul bal millat Ibrahim ahnifa. Say, but the millat religion of true Ibrahim, he was not from the associate. So we Muslims are following the religion of Ibrahim, peace be upon him. All the messengers and the prophets were following the religion of Millat Ibrahim. Muhammad as the seal of the prophets was following the religion of Millat Ibrahim. Millat Ibrahim, the religion of Ibrahim is the religion ordained by Allah for us, mankind. All the prophets follow that. <coughs> the confrontation are done by the Hud and Nasara. In the whole book Quran, believe me, they are the only two people, Hud and Nasara, that is why I am delivering this lecture to identify who are these Hud and Nasara who are saying they will never be satisfied by you until you follow their Millat. وَلَن تَرْضَ عَنْكَ الْيَهُدُ وَلَن نَسَارَ حَتَّى تَتَّبِعَ مِلَّتَهُمْ They, the Jews, the Jews know the, 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 the lenient and the Nasara will never be satisfied with you until you follow their judgment, their Millat, sorry, their religion. There is no other religion in the, on the Quran, in the Quran that people are saying you become like that, except these two people, these two groups, within us or outside us, against the Millat Ibrahim. They are against Millat Ibrahim al Islam. So Allah says in this Surah Al Baqarah 2 136, 
وما أنزل إلى إبراهيم وإسماعيل وإسحاق ويعقوب والأسباط وما أوتي موسى وعيسى وما أوتي النبيون من ربهم لا نفرق بين أحد منهم ونحن له مسلمون They said we believe with Allah and what is revealed towards us and what is revealed towards Ibrahim, Ibrahim, Ismail, Ismail and Ishaq, Isaac and Yaqub, Jacob and the tribes and what was given to Musa, that is Moses, Isa, Jesus and what was given to prophets from the Lord. We do not differentiate the revelation between any one of them and we are Muslim submitters for him. So we Muslims are for Allah we believe in the revelation from Ibrahim al Islam still Musa and Isa peace be upon we do not make any distinction among anyone among the messengers among the prophets and as well as the revelation and we are Muslims for who? for Allah look it says lahu muslimun. we are Muslim submitters for Allah not for your schools of thoughts for Allah this is definition is given So now, Surah Maida, Allah is warning about this Yahudi and Nasara again. Ya ayyuh al-ladheena amahu la tattakhidu yahud wal nasara awliya baadhum awliya au baad wa man yatawallahum minkum fa innahum minhum inna Allah la yahudil qawm al-zalimeen Oh you believe, do not take yahud who are lenient Jews and Nasara helpers Christians as protectors. Some of them are protectors of some and whosoever take protect us from them they are from them surely Allah does not guide the people who are oppressors so now you will see I was reading Yahud and Nasara were coming together both were saying you follow our millat so Allah says you, you believe for the believers not for the Muslims for the believers do not take Yahud Yahud character you know this it is from among us and there also now you know this from among us and them Yahud and the helpers among us and them do not take them as protectors awliya some of them are protectors of some whoever takes the protectors from them they are from them surely Allah does not guide the people who are the oppressors so Allah is identifying the Muslim or believers that we will not take protectors who the Nasara or the Yahud from among us or from there we will not make them as protectors protector you understand there is a difference between a pro we do not you can talk to a who uh, the nasara you can have a relation to business also that's not a problem but you can never make them as your protector awliya you understand awliya protector that you want to be protected by them do not take their protection otherwise Allah says that you will be like them and whosoever take protectors from them they will they are them from them Surely Allah does not guide the people who are oppressors. So we cannot take them as our protectors. They are protected of each other. Who? The Hud and Nasara. Now further Al-Maidah 5 and 82 verse. لَتَجِدَنَّا أَشَدَّ النَّاسِ عَدَاوَةً لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا الْيَهُودَ وَالَّذِينَ أَشْرَكُوا وَلَتَجِدَنَّا أَقْرَبَهُمْ مَوَدَّةً لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا الْآمَنُوا الَّذِينَ قالوا إن نصارى ذلك بأن بأن منهم كسيسين وربانا وأنهم لا يستكبرون. Definitely you will find stronger in enmity for the believers who are Yahud who are lenient Jews and those who associate and definitely you will find near in love for the believers are those who say surely we are Nasara helpers, label Christian. That is because surely amongst them are clergymen and terrorists. And they do not see greatness. In this ayah, Allah is in among the two, among the Yahud who are lenient and among the Nasara, the helpers. You will find that the more enmity to the believers are the Yahud as compared to the Nasara. To the believers, the Yahud are more in enmity to the believers in comparison to the Nasara, the helpers. Allah says, you will always find these people, the Yahudi people, the who are Yahud, are more in enmity to the believers as compared to Nasar, the helpers. Can anybody in the audience tell me why? Because the Nasara forgot the message. Nasara people just forgot the message. 
But the Hadu and the Yahud, what they are doing, I, you read again, I'll, I'll remind you. They are, first of all, they think that Allah's hands are tied up. Okay? So they want to make sure that you also believe that. Then secondly, they distort, misrepresent the meanings of the word. They are twisting the words of Allah's words. The Nasaras are not doing that. They are doing it. Then, from twisting the, with the languages, then they are piercing and making a way into the judgment and they kindle the fire of war this all are done by who? the Hadu the Hadu people whether from among us or from there so they are more in enmity to the believers than the Nasara the helpers because helpers are people who are not playing with the word of God the Hadu are doing it they were reminded of something but they forgot you see, Nasara people are also, they want to follow the Millat, but the question is, the Hadus are influencing the Nasara also. And they are not, they, they are in comparison to them, they are not enmity to the believers. So that is why they are, Allah says, more enmity, you will find stronger enmity for the believers who are Hadu, who are lineage Jews and those who are so sweet. And definitely you find nearly love for the believers are those who say, surely we are helpers those who because their nature is to help they like to help you also who the label nasara like to help you because it's a human nature to help but lenient people are playing with the word of god you are kalima mawadi they are not doing it they are near so that is why they are nearer to you they want to help you that is because surely amongst them are people who clergymen and terrorists they do not see greatness they don't see greatness and further they are it is reminded of to us to believers al Maida 5 in the continuity وَإِذَا سَمِعُ مَا أُنزِلَ إِلَى الرَّسُولِ تَرَى أَعْيُنَهُمْ تَفِيدُ مِنَ الدَّمْعِ مِمَّا عَرَفُوا مِنَ الْحَقِّ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا آمَنَّا فَاكْتُبْنَا مَعَ الشَّاهِدِينَ And when they listen to what is revealed towards the messenger you will see their eyes overflow with tears from what they recognize from the truth they say O oh, our Lord we believe then you write us down with the witnesses so among the Nasara people because they forgot the message they because Allah said they only forgot the message what they were reminded don't forget that ayah so now when they were reminded with the ayahs when they listen to what has been revealed because they are not playing with the word of Allah so when it is revealed to them towards the message you will see their eyes flow with tears from what they recognize from the truth what they have been forgotten so you will hear in the world that the Nasara among us and among there, they are the highest rate of conversion into Islam as compared to the Hud there and among here. More enemy to us, the Hud here and more enemy to Hud out there. They are more enemy. But these Nasara helpers people, they like to help. They, are, they recognize the truth. They say, oh our Lord, we believe. Then you write us down with the witness at the moment. So among the Nasara people, helper people with both classes from here and there, they are ready to convert and revert into the truth of Islam as compared to the Hadu, who are lenient, who are twisting the words. They are very, very dangerous people. The more the revelation comes, the more they get enemy. They are more harsh and hard, very hard people. And further about the Nasara Allah says, Maida 5 وَمَا لَنَا لَا نُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَمَا جَاءَنَا مِنَ الْحَقِّ وَنَدْمَعُ عَنْ يُدْخِ لَنَا رَبُّنَا مَعَ الْقَوْمِ الصَّالِحِينَ And what is for us that we should not believe in Allah and for of the truth that has come to us and we desire our Lord that you admit us with the people who correct themselves and these are the same people they cry first and then further they say and what is the reason why should we not believe that we should not believe in Allah and of the truth the truth that has come to us and we desire our Lord that admit, admit us with the people who correct themselves so they are the people who are Nasara when reminded they are more in a chance and there are no wonder however in the world the helping nature people people who had the nature influence the helping nature people are more ready and receptive in comp com comparison to the Hud who are lenient and who are twisting the words they are ready to come to Islam and they change and they become Muslim believers.
so further in the in surah sub 61 allah says 14 ayat to the believers allah is reminding to the believers ya ayyuhalladhina amanu kunu ansar allah kama qala isa ibn maryam lil hawariyina man ansar ila allah qala al hawariyuna nahnu ansar allah fa amana ta'ifatun min bani israila wa kafara ta'ifa fa ayyadna alladhina amanu ala aduwihim fa asbahu dahirin oh you believe become helpers of allah as Isa, Jesus, son of Maryam, Mary said for the companions, disciples, who are my helpers towards Allah? The companions, these disciples said, we are helpers of Allah. So a group from the children of Israel believe and a group rejected. So we strengthen those who believe over their enemies. So they begin the day prevailing. So now Allah is addressing to the believers, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu. Now he's reminding because these Nasara, people, they truly convert or revert to the essence of the message. So Allah is reminding us to the believers, Ya you ladin amanu, kunu ansarullah. He's reminding us, the believers, you become helpers of Allah. How? Like, kama qala Isa ibn Maryam, like what Isa ibn Maryam said, lil havarin for the havarin, for the disciples, the companions, man ansari Allah, who is my helpers towards Allah? Qala al-Havariyun said the Havariyun, Nahnu ansarullah, we are helpers of Allah. Fa'amal ta'ifatum min bani Israel. What is going on? So to the believers, Allah is reminding us, you people have to become ansarullah like Isa peace be upon him, when said to his companion disciple, who are my helpers? They said, we are helpers of Allah. So believers should remember this. This is addressed to the believers of all times that we are the helpers of Allah. As the Nasara are coming to the truth because they are reminded of the ayahs, the helpers become Ansarullah. Helpers of Allah because they were only Nasara, they become helpers of Allah. So Allah has reminded us to the believers, look at their example. Surah Al Baqarah 2 and Ayah, ayah 62. إن الذين آمنوا والذين هادوا والنصارى والصابئين من آمن بالله واليوم الآخر وعمل صالحا فلهم أجرم عند ربهم ولا خوف عليهم ولا ولا هم يحزنون surely those who believe and those who are hadu who became lenient the Jews so called label and the Sara helpers so called label Christian and Sabians youthful who believe with Allah and the hereafter and do corrections so their reward is near their Lord and they have no fear on them and they do not grieve. Now ladies and gentlemen, this ayah is mostly promoted by the label Jews and Christians. By the label Jews and Christians and they say, look into your Quranic ayah, this ayah they refer to, look into your Quranic ayah and they say, because the Quran says that these the Jews and the Nasara, the Christians, according to them, whoever believes in Allah in the last day and who does righteous works, so the reward is with Allah from your Lord. My question to these people is, can you explain to me this ayat? If they are Jews, present day Jews, if they are Christian, present day Christians, can they take this ayat and remain as Jews and Christians? And remain as Jews and Christians and Allah said the reward is with them. Is it possible? But they are using this ayat, quoting us to the so-called label Muslim. Come on, it is written in the Quran. How will you explain and look how it's very easy to explain this ayah. Very easy. Inna ladina amanu. Surely those who believe. Now this one category. Those who believe is one category. Believers different. And now wal ladina hadu are those who are lenient. And I explain to you what lenient is. You know the lenient who are lenient? Okay. Wal nasara helpers. Was sabin youthful. Now listen to me carefully. Man amana billahi wal yawm irakhir. Whoever believes in Allah. And the last day, Allah of the Quran, not Father, Son, and Holy Ghost from the Bible, not Rama as God or Krishna as God or something. We are talking about Allah. Allah described in the Quran with above 100 attributes His character trait or personality that Allah we are talking about. And Yawmil Akhir is means the last day. The last day described in the Quranic ayahs. That last day. 
and the most important is wa'amila saliha means they correct amila means they amal means doings and saliha means correct they correct their doings meaning they from nasara they become ansarullah you understand from nasara they become ansarullah so fala khawfun alayhim wala fala falahum ajum in the rabbin if you are labeled as nasara in the world or if you are labeled as hud in the world this hadu or sabin we are not talking about sabin but we are talking about hud and nasara so if you believe in allah the true allah if you believe in the last day as described in the ayas and wa amila saliha wa amila salih means you correct your amal doings fala khawfun alayhim wa lahum yazanun there is no fear on you but you remain what you are as father son and holy ghost and adam as son of god and this guy is son of god and as the father son and holy ghost you are not that christian nasara you are not you are not changing you are amila saliha you are not correcting your doings so this ayat is referring to these guys nasara who correct sabin who correct hadu who correct and even the believers also who correct because i know the believers are there but still they have to correct in all their lives so i end my this lecture of mine by al bakra 2 and ayah 137 fa in aminu aminu bi mithli ma amantum bihi faqad tadaw wa in tawallaw fa inna ma hum fi shiqaq fa sayakfikum allah wa huwa samiul alim so if they believe with the example what you believe with it so without doubt they are on guidance and if they turn back then surely they will be in shiqaq disunity so soon soon allah is enough for them and is hearing and knowing meaning as i have explained in the ayas you have listened to this course that nasara has to become ansarullah who the who the hadu or hud has to change their they don't have to do mischief with the words they don't have to don't have to ignite the fire of war so if they believe they have to correct their doings if they correct their doings allah say if they believe with the example what you believe from the ayas so without doubt they are on guidance and if they do not change their uh, works and doings they are not on guidance and if they turn back then surely they will are in shiqaq disunity and soon allah is enough for them in allah is hearing and knowing so this was the lecture i end here for any question answer session thank you